Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1969 Charger SE. This car is coming out really, really nice. It really is looking so good. We cleaned up and painted the engine, and you can see how nice that engine now looks. Got all the exhaust manifolds cleaned up, made them look really nice. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to sand down the air cleaner and put the correct wrinkle coat paint on that air cleaner. You can see we have the new brake master cylinder because the car did sit for a really long time. It sat for over 10 years. So all of the brake fluid was contaminated and bad. We cleaned out all of the brake lines because the owner didn't want to change them yet. He said, we'll do them another time, but right now they're still good, so leave them alone. So we did. So we got some brake clean, shot some brake cleaner in there, and then just blew all the lines out until the, everything came out nice and clean. Brake lines should be just fine. Um, we ended up having to put a new water pump in it as well because the old water pump was just starting to leak and we found that the radiator was bad so we ended up having to get a new radiator and this is the new radiator right here it is a full aluminum radiator as opposed to the old copper and brass radiator which is right there we're going to keep the copper and brass radiator because the tanks are worth some money um, it's really hard to get them and this is the big big radiator because this is an air conditioned big block so it is the original four core radiator he can send it out later on it's about a thousand dollars by the time you ship it back and forth and get it record and all that it costs about a thousand bucks we were able to get this aluminum radiator for about three hundred dollars so big difference in cost and the reason we replaced this is, you can see down here, we were starting to lose all of the core. It started to just rot away and was leaking. And you can see here, it was leaking here, and it's been leaking for a while. And if I turn it around, you will see how bad this really was. Well, there's the other side. All of this core is gone all through here somebody cut it all out and fixed it and this is an old fix you could tell by the way they did it it's a very old fix another thing that was happening is the cooling fins were starting to come off of the runners all the little cooling tubes so this radiator is basically done all that's actually any good is the upper tank the lower tank and the side panels that's it everything this whole center section will be replaced one day we took this radiator we sanded it all down real nice and we painted it to match what the old radiator used to look like so you don't have this big piece of aluminum sticking in your face another thing we did was we cut the side brackets off of here because this radiator is made for a electric fan setup the shroud has two fans in it and it's all electric so we cut these side brackets off and they looked similar to this and we made these brackets here to hold the fan shroud on so all this side bracket got cut off of the radiator for the electric fans which the bracket actually came out and in this way and then the fans would be mounted onto there so that will look really good. We know it's not original, but it'll look nice once it's done. Another thing we did on this car is we replaced all the brakes. Um, they were old and contaminated. The wheel cylinders were all leaking, so everything was contaminated. The springs were old, they were stretched out, so we put all new springs, all new shoes, Everything inside of there is brand new. The drums were still within spec, so we were able to cut them. And then on the back end of the car, we took the whole rear end out, cleaned everything out of the rear differential housing because there was a lot of dirt in there. And we are also going to replace the inner seal 
the outer seal here, then the axle seals and the bearings. And you can see we started doing the brakes on this side. Once we get everything put back in, we'll put all the brakes back together, put the center section back in. That's known as the center section or the pumpkin or the third member. Just depends on who you are and what you like to call it. That is your ring gear. And if you look way down in there, that there is your pinion gear. This is the carrier that holds the ring gear. And then these are your spider gears. And then on either side, you have clutches. And that's what makes these a posi rear. Another thing we did is we replaced the fuel tank. The old one had a hole in it and it also was corroded with old, old gas. So all it would have done was contaminate the whole fuel system. Might as well just go ahead and put a new one in. Cleaned out all of the fuel lines, got all of the dirt out of them, put a nice uh, filter up on the front side of this thing to keep any dirt that's still in there out and uh, just change the filter once in a while. We also put all new brake hoses front and rear in here. So. We've gotten a lot of work done on this car, and I'm really looking forward to actually starting and driving this car. The last couple of things we have to do is put the exhaust system in, finish up the rear end, get the cooling system all together, fill her with fluids, put some tires on here, and go for a ride. So I will keep you guys up to date as we go on this thing. Alrighty, have fun. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.